Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. Before we get into this week's stories, I wanted to cover a question I got this week from one of our students about flying a drone in a zero grid airspace area. He had opened up his uh, airspace app on his phone, I think he was using a loft, and he saw that where he wanted to fly was at the edge of a Class D airport. More specifically, he looked at that blue grid and it showed a zero and that Lance authorization was not available. So he thought that that meant he wasn't able to fly at that site. Good news, the FAA does have another route for getting airspace authorizations. And when this student went through our free airspace authorization guide, which I'll link to below, and submitted his request to the FAA through his uh, drone zone account, and boom, in less than 24 hours, he got an email from the FAA with his approval documentation. Uh, of course, he's still gonna have to unlock his DJI drone, uh, but good thing we have a video that walks through that process, but just wanted to share the good news about the FAA application turnaround that's really quick, uh, and how even if an airspace research app says that you can't fly, sometimes there are other creative uh, and safe and legal solutions out there. All right, let's get into the stories for this week. In a recent series of tests conducted in Phoenix, a drone flown autonomously by Honeywell's radar system known as RDR-84K was able to swerve around intruder aircraft. The tests were set up as a game of dodgeball with the intruders locking in on a collision course with the test drone, but it detected and avoided them every single time. The test proved that the radar can identify airborne traffic and then decide autonomously how to move to avoid colliding with it. Uh, the RDR-84K can also map terrain and provide alternate navigation if GPS fails. So why does this all matter? Because this technology is crucial for the development of self-flying drones and other types of aircraft. And avoiding unforeseen objects is a key component of that, uh, particularly when it comes to flying a drone uh, beyond visual line of sight. Next up, drone manufacturer Skydio has won a contract to supply its X2D drones to the U.S. Army's Short Range Reconnaissance Program, ensuring soldiers have access to the most advanced autonomous drone technology. The fixed price agreement will be worth up to $99.8 million over its five-year duration. The U.S. Army evaluated proposals from over 30 small UAS vendors and conducted rigorous testing of the five finalists. Skydio was chosen based on feedback from soldiers, product performance, quality, and production readiness. This agreement validates the strong reputation of Skydio's drones and is a significant milestone for the Army. We're so excited for Skydio and excited to read more on this partnership. If you're interested in learning more about the Skydio drones, check out our latest series where we explore this fun and super smart drone. We'll link to it down below. Okay, lastly, Brazil's oldest university recently shared the news that it will be using XAG agriculture drones in a reforestation effort called the Arboreto Project. The drones will be used to speed up the reseeding process by dropping seeds of native plants from the air. It kind of reminds me of a company here in the U.S. we've uh, covered before called Drone Seed. So initially, the drones will be used in a trial, after which the approach may be rolled out more generally to help with reforestation work uh, throughout Brazil. This autonomous farming drone will improve the productivity of the reforestation, especially in terrains that are difficult to access. It's expected that these drones will not just make forest replanting easier and faster, but will also save quite a bit of money. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below to read more about any of these stories. Thanks so much for watching. And to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.